Hey guys, it's Boy for the VMJ. Um, I'm just here for a quick video. I was exploring the um, new Minecraft 1.12 snapshot, as you guys can see up there. So, I was just exploring around with these new concrete blocks. And as well as, I really I really like that safe toolbar. I kind of wish they would kind of put this back up here and this down here, but uh, that's about it. Anyway, so while I was exploring it, um, I watched uh, a video from Mumbo Jumbles, Mumbo Jumbles channel, whose link is down in the description, and gave me, um, and that video actually gave me an idea to create a 3D printer. Now this isn't automated; you do have to place down this down in the pattern you want it. But other than that, it works. Anyway, so um, I'll demonstrate, then I'll show you. This. this is just gonna be a quick video, maybe five minutes long max, because I do work to do and tomorrow and yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna just okay. Let's let's start with the creeper. I just put out these designs so I don't mess up. So it's five of these. Right now I only uh, I, it only prints in five by five. So anyway, so five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Press the button, then immediately launches it up, and then go push this button. Uh, I almost placed that on there, geez. One, two, one, one, one. At least, that's it, right? One, two, one, one, one. Oh, yep. There we go. Right up. Just don't forget to push that. I forgot. If you do, it's just going to rebound it right back here, and you'll be fine. And if you don't know how this works, um, you can actually, s like, with a post, you can, well, just place down sand so that you can s pretty much stack it. And what I found cool about the feature is that it actually keeps the order you placed it down in, which is how this entire thing works. Now it's just the opposite. One, 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 one. Right? Oh, one more. Uh, I did push the button, right? Yep. There we go! You see the creeper taking form. Don't mind the line at the end, I just put that there because the water kept flowing out. Uh, okay, now it's... One, two, one, one, one. I did push it, yep. Bam. Ooh. That's new, okay. And now it's just one, two, three, four, five. Uh, for some reason, I pushed that one except, instead of this one. No clue why. I should actually hook it up so that when you, when you push this one, this one activates, so it pushes it. And bam, there you go. That's your creeper. Bam, I'm just going to... One, two, three, four, five. Just so you know, so it's even on... Either side, you have your. I keep pushing that button. Button, you're too tempting. Anyway, so there we go. We have a creeper, which is nice. So you can print out your flags. You can make this automated to immediately print out your flag. There's defeat, whatever. Anyway, so I'll show you how this works, and later, hopefully, I'll upload a video on how to actually build this. It's, it's really not that hard, really. If I show you how it works, I shouldn't have to do the video, but if you guys request it in the comments, I will. Okay, so it's really simple. You just make a simple miniature TNT cannon, whatever. That's fine. Uh, except make sure it's not an actual cannon, or else you just blow this whole thing up. Place a nice fence here, and as I said before, with that. It has to be three blocks up here before the sign, and then five blocks of water. Well, six, is it not including the... Huh, it's six, where... You do six blocks, and on the sixth block, you place the water source. That way you have five blocks. That way when the sand gets launched up, or, con what's it called? Black concrete, no, green, it's concrete powder. So it just goes, it'll only go on the five. I'm not sure, I didn't try it out yet, if it works on more than that. I'll try that out another time. Um, and then, these pistons, once they're all up there and all concrete, it will... You just go, push the button, pistons, put it out of the way, and you keep repeating until you've drawn your pattern. Uh, I also have a X, 
and you can figure out other patterns as long as it's in a 5x5 five five shape. I don't really know any others, but, uh... <laughs> what? I, I really hope I can get this pixel, but hey, it's a 3D... It's not really a 3D printer. Like, I mean, because you can't put air, so you wouldn't be able to have the positive spaces in between, but... Yeah, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, it's a beautiful printer. And then when you're done, let's say you're in survival mode, you just break all this. And it's completely survival friendly, which is cool. No command blocks in here, which is what I usually do. But I love toying around with redstone. And yeah. So anyway, so if you just wanted to print it out, which I have no clue why you want to print it out a certain pattern instead of just, you know, just the old. I don't know. Wait, I, I don't have a water bucket. Ah, that's annoying. Please put it back into the old place. And I just threw that. Oh, great. Like, I mean, you could really, really just do this if you just needed to do that. Or just break it. I mean, really, it's, it's not hard. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, like this video. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!